Dublin, Ohio, during a meeting at the White House two weeks ago. Senator Cheryl Brown the Ohio handed President Trump copies of two tax bills he's proposed. One would expand access to the Earned Income Tax Credit and the Child Tax Credit. The other would give tax credits to companies that pay workers at least $15 an hour and offer health care and retirement benefits. Trump said he likes them and, with some enthusiasm, he said that's what he wants to do, that it's all about workers and the middle class. He went on a little bit about that, Brown said in an interview on Monday. There's a clear fork in the road. He either works with Democrats or here goes to Mitch McConnell writing the bill in the back room. I take the president at his word that he's going to do the right thing. Brown is one of 10 Senate Democrats up for re-election next year in a state that Trump carried in 2016. These lawmakers each insist they are not just willing, but eager, to work with the president on taxes. The senator believes that voters in his state draw a distinction between Trump, who remains relatively popular in Ohio, and congressional leaders like McConnell and Paul Ryan, who even many Republicans now dislike. Brown says that he will back Trump up if he tries to follow through on his campaign rhetoric about helping the little guy, but that he won't go along with the trickle-down economics espoused by the Senate Majority Leader and House Speaker. They're going to cut taxes for the rich, they're going to give the middle class a tiny little bit and then five years from now they're going to say, we've got this much bigger deficit. We can't believe this happened, Brown said predicting that the GOP will cite the ballooning debt that they are about to cause as a justification for cutting Social Security benefits down the road. If we follow McConnell's backroom deal way of doing business, the rich will get richer and the middle class will shrink. The second term incumbent is personally well liked back home, but the president won Ohio by eight points and he's likely to face a well-funded challenge from state treasurer Josh Mondale.